You see that right there? That is unfiltered water. And that right there is damaging your hormones, damaging your future, and overall just damaging your life because you aren't informed of what exactly is in your water. This would not be an issue if people were informed, so in today's video I'm going to be breaking down what exactly is in our water, what it is causing, and how exactly you can get it out of your water. And yes, I live inside the US, so this is an issue wherever you live. Now you may be wondering, how is this possible? In the US and in the UK, we have these water systems that filter out everything from our water. There's no debris in our water, right? There's nothing bad with our water. And that's simply not the case. And the reason behind that is because our water systems aren't advanced enough to be able to, to filter out hormones which are too small of molecules, so they slip into your water and you end up drinking them even in your filtered water. And on top of that, they add stuff to your water that damages your brain and your hormones. So with that idea being said, let me explain to you what exactly is happening with your water. The first thing that is getting inside of your water are pharmaceutical agents. Now, these pharmaceutical agents are things that people or doctors prescribe to their patients, and then these prescriptions end up getting peed out or discreted from your body naturally. So if a woman is taking birth control, then naturally they are going to pee out the estrogen or pee out what is inside the birth control, and then that right there isn't going to be able to be filtered out of our water. And now that birth control is now permanently in our water. And you are actively consuming birth control with every sip of water you take that isn't properly filtered at your house. The next thing is endocrine disrupting chemicals. And these chemicals are also too small to be filtered out of our water system, which are BPAs and phthalates. BPAs and phthalates are both endocrine disruptors, making it so your testosterone cannot play its role inside of your body. Now, this is obviously a big deal, but the bigger deal is that this is just everywhere in our life. And you may be wondering, well, how's it getting in the water? Phthalates are primarily used to make plastic flimsy. So whenever a plastic is flimsy, then it's going to be getting in your water. So if you get like a plastic water bottle, you know what happened? That plastic has phthalates in it. And when phthalates heat up, they end up leaking into whatever they are touching. So you have water bottles being loaded onto a truck and transported to whatever store they're being sold at. All these phthalates are now inside of this water that you are drinking, that store-bought, that's supposedly super filtered. But the way they package it is simply an issue that you cannot ignore. And then BPAs are another thing that's inside plastic. So if your water is being ran through plastic pipes, then you know what's happening. It's getting contaminated by BPAs. So everywhere in your life you see plastic. This is all getting inside of your water. So now you have BPAs inside of your water. The next thing is PFAs. Now PFAs are a chemical that's used in non-stick pans, firefighting foams, and other things. But what is more important is the effect that this has on your body, and specifically the effect this has on your balls. This specifically damages your balls and prevents it from properly functioning and prevents them from producing the proper amount of sperm. This is known to be very harmful to your reproductive function. And then it also damages your thyroid. And then there's a few other things that this damages. So once again, another very harmful thing inside of our water. And then you know how they supposedly clean the water? It's with chlorine, which isn't filtered out. And this chlorine damages your reproductive function once again, but it also harms your gut microbiome, which is very important for your hormone levels. So this is once again another thing that is going to damage the future because you're going to be craving foods you don't want and your body is not going to function properly from a poor gut microbiome. 
And then the last two things are fluoride and microplastics. Now, fluoride has been seen in several studies to actually lower your testosterone levels, suppress your thyroid, and potentially cause brain damage. Now, the brain damage isn't too conclusive. We don't know that. But if it's suppressing your testosterone, then in individuals under 26, your brain is still developing and testosterone is a crucial factor. So once again, another thing that's a huge issue, microplastics, not much to be said. They have BPAs in them. They have phthalates often. So microplastics are harmful for the reasons I said earlier. Now, it's really important you understand what this is causing so you understand that this is a big deal because you may be doing everything right, but if your water is truly just harming you, then it could really throw you off track if you're consuming something that's toxic to your body. We all react differently, so this may not damage somebody's body as much as it damages yours, and you're wondering what the issue is, you're focused on all these self-improvement things, or improving your gym gains, but you're really just consuming things in your water that damages your body specifically worse than others, your body doesn't react as well to these things. So that's a big possibility. It's really important to understand what exactly this causes so you could consider your water being an issue when you do have these issues. The first thing is estrogen dominance, meaning your estrogen is too high compared to your testosterone. And this is because we are consuming synthetic estrogen. Now, your estrogen being higher than a 20 to 1 ratio is going to cause a lot of issues. Now, it's going to cause gyno. That's a common issue nowadays. It's a big surprise with our water being a huge issue now with all these birth controls and all these chemicals that we're using inside of our products that's getting in our water. But gyno, we, you have poor brain development. Testosterone to estrogen is crucial for brain development. And then it also causes low libido and erectile dysfunction. It's probably the most common cause of erectile dysfunction. And then in addition to that, it causes low energy. So you're not going to want to do anything and you're just going to feel lazier and wondering why you're lazy. And it's simply because your estrogen to testosterone ratio is too high. Fluoride and heavy metals have both been seen to block your iodine uptake. So what this results in is a reduced thyroid function. And when your thyroid isn't functioning as well, you're simply not going to age as well. You're going to put on a lot more fat easier. And you're going to have a lot harder time losing fat because you're trying to hit your macros. You're trying to have enough protein for your body to function. But you're burning so little calories that you simply just you can't get that protein go reasonably and then on top of that if you take some sort of medication for this that medication is going to likely harm your function somehow almost all medications that replace some organ are going to be harming you elsewhere the next thing is low testosterone levels pfas bpas Phthalates, these are all things that are going to harm your testosterone levels. So if you're stuck at a low testosterone level, then make sure you are cleaning your water before you drink it with the, me with the methods I am going to name soon. Now, what comes along with this? Infertility. Now, why do you have infertility? Simply your sperm count level is too low. Your estrogen is too high, your testosterone is too low, and your body just isn't functioning how it should, and you can't get your girl pregnant. I've actually thought of investing into reproductive companies because I think fertility is going to be the biggest issue. We're estimated to be at 50% infertile by 20 50. So don't be one of those individuals and pay attention to it now. The next thing is damaging your gut health. Now, I mentioned this earlier, but chlorine and chloramine are two things that kill beneficial gut bacteria. And these gut bacteria that it's killing, why are they beneficial? They're beneficial because they regulate your hormones. They return your hormones back to their normal range. So not only are you being thrown out, but now your body isn't pulling you back because the gut bacteria that tells your body to go back to this range is now being killed off. Now, I want to mention three things you can do to help with this. The first thing and the most important thing is to invest in a high quality water filter. And there's three possible options for water filters. 
The first one is a charcoal filter. A charcoal filter is simply going to remove all these things. The next thing is going to be a reverse osmosis filter. And once again, this is going to remove all these harmful things. And the reason we don't have a reverse osmosis on our water systems is because it's simply too expensive to put all our water through reverse osmosis systems. But what many people say is a downside from this is that it strips the minerals from your water, which honestly, if you have the right supplements and the right diet, it's not too important, but there are more expensive systems that add the minerals back in. So you could consider that if you are worried about these minerals, it's probably slightly more optimal, but it is significantly more expensive for these systems. And then the final option or the cheapest option is just a water distiller, which is simply it heats up the water, makes it evaporate, and then that water drips back down and all that drip is filtered. So then you're likely going to want to refrigerate it, get it cold again. It's a lot more of a hassle, but it isn't too expensive at all. It's very cheap if you are looking for a cheap option to do this. And you could just add it to your morning routine or do it before bed and then move that water into the fridge when you wake up. Now, the next solution I'm going to tell you is to avoid plastic bottles. I mentioned earlier how plastic bottles are flimsy because they have phthalates. Now, they could clean the water however much they want, but phthalates are really horrible for your body. So there is no point in buying a flimsy water bottle. Just simply bring your own thermos around and use that for your water. And that's going to be way better. Your water's not going to be in plastic. And then this is a little side note, but if you are heating something up in water, make sure you heat it up in glass, not in plastic, because plastic, once again, is going to seek into that water. And then finally, I'm going to have add shower filters. Now a shower filter is going to prevent these chemicals from getting on your skin, absorbing into your body and disrupting your endocrine function. So now all this stuff you do for testosterone is really going to start playing much more of a role and you're going to see it because your body is naturally going to react better because it has returned to how it naturally should be. Now, if you do like my content and want to support it and keep having higher quality videos, then I really appreciate a like, a subscribe, a comment, whatever. Thank you for watching. Join my email list in the description. And remember, as lifelong learners, Perspicacity is our grindstone for success. Keep on grinding, boys.